I was fossil hunting along the Jurassic coast with my wife when we found this lovely Nautilus fossil. We're going to talk fossils today with Mike Harrison and see some beautiful fossils. Here's Mike with his lovely crinoid fossil. These beautiful sea lily stems, an animal related to the starfish. A Jurassic Age fossil find lovingly pieced together. Wow. The detail on that is amazing. There's the Nautilus. Well, some lovely fossils in the summer sun. Now have a look at the winter ones we filmed. I'm here with at Mike Harrison's fossils, looking at his amazing fossil finds from the Jurassic Coast, Igfisaur jaws, a lovely big backbone of the ichthyosaur there and uh, here is Mike himself, there he is, the man himself and let's talk about some of his fossil finds, look at that backbone column there, huge, really weighty isn't it Mike? Yeah, four huge vertebrates from a Temnodontosaurus platyodon ichthyosaur I found in 2008. That is big. You can hear it go clonk when it goes back on the table there. Some fossil specimens that Mike's prepared as well, lovingly. Very fragile too. Look at that piece lovely crinoid. specimen there. This would have been a much bigger piece, um, but unfortunately some of it's got lost to the sea. The sea destroys everything as well as revealing all the fossils. That is looking absolutely amazing on this uh, iPhone. And then some of the harder work here where Mike's had to prepare around the ammonites, preserved in calcite. Wow, those really gleam with the iron pyrites uh, body chambers. On the other side of the rock, we have imprints of shells and other ammonites. What uh, rock is that? What part of the... This is goldstone. Wow. Quite a rare type of stone. It really does look gold on the screen too. That's stunning, Mike. Over here, I can see a little fish, a small fish. It's the weather for fish. Just been out fossil collecting in the rain. This is a little, um, little fish in a piece of wood stone, accompanied by some small ammonites all preserved in calcite. Absolute beautiful preservation, right at the top of the stone as well. What kind of stone was that you found it in? That's a wood stone. That's a wood stone. That actually didn't have any wood in it. No wood in that? No, there was no wood in it, a fish instead. And the little ammonites washed up against it as it acted as a barrier on the seafloor. Amazing. Wow, absolute spectacular fossil finds. I've got a couple of mine strewn in with the others but uh, Mike's got all the all That's the big pieces. one of my favorites of yours. Big Nautilus there from the uh, Lias. Look at that, perfect. Just plucked out of the mud like that. You can find whole specimens on the beach just like that. The sea's eroded that so well hasn't it? It's sort of given it a sort of sculptural effect. You'll never find another one like it. No, ever, ever. You're right, yeah exactly. When you talk about this stuff that is exactly what you're saying, you'll never find some of this material ever again like it. Absolutely unique. Look at that jaw there. It's a lovely toothy rostrum. Wow, what a sword. smile. And did you prepare that one out, Mike, or was that- It um... came out in hundreds of pieces. Oh, proper jigsaw. So painstakingly put it all back together. Um, Look at those gnashes. I suppose the nice thing about the fact that it was broken into so many pieces meant that I could prepare all the matrix from around the teeth oh, so I you see. can actually see through it. To get that three dimensional effect. Look at the light through the other side. If you were a fish, that wouldn't have been such a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is an amazing collection. Thanks very much for bringing it around. This is Mike from at Mike Harrison's Fossils on Instagram.
That's it. I think we've covered all those specimens. What a brilliant display of fossils from the Jurassic coast, mostly found at low tide, washed out by the sea's actions.